It's quite manageable. No problem. No problem. Oh my goodness. I'm so stupid. That's why it was so hard to get it in. This thing will stay in your floor. A really well-made manual, I have to say that. By the way, if you want to see all my videos about the EZ6 e-scooter, then just type in Chris Viral EZ6 EAZ way in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day. One step in the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Thursday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is unboxing my first e-scooter, the EZ6, EZ6 by Easyway, E-I-Z-Way I guess, anyways, so let's get it, by the way, all the product reviews are right here, watch more, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Another item that I got through my Tech Magnet collab, check out the official review right here, and now let's get right to the unboxing, to the cleaning and to the setup. Up, let's go. So this is the package right here. It's quite manageable. 15.5 kilograms. So right here it says e-scooter. That's the scooter right here. And to this out you will even get instructions on how to remove it and how to set it up. And that's the side of the package by the way. So let's slice it open. All right, so this is what it looks like. I can see the charger right here. Okay, nope, that's fixed. I'll take a look at that in a second. Okay, what might this be? Just a cover. All right, let's remove the scooter. I will grab all the way down to the bottom and then pull it out like this. You can handle it easily with just one hand. No problem, no problem. Okay, on the floor was the manual. We'll take a look at that in a second as well. All right, so after I took it out of the box, I immediately put down the kickstand. This way it won't fall over. So let's unwrap it. Okay, now that's that. Let's bring up this bar. Oh yeah. Nice. And lastly, let's insert the handlebar. And in the manual baggie, there are four screws. They will come with a tool and we will need them right now to fix the handlebar in place. Two of them on the front, front side. Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. That's why it was so hard to get it in. <laughs> it's the wrong direction, can you believe it? So the brake. Oh my goodness. Brake needs to face forward. Classic mistake. Okay, once again. They will self-center, which is amazing, of course. And now with a bit of force, not too much though. There we go, looking good to me. And the last step would be to remove this protective cover. All right. This is what the handlebar looks like. We have this, this bell. Nice. Brake and the power control, which is a thumb lever. Just out of curiosity, let's turn it on for a second. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Echo, D and Sport, I guess. 25 kilometers per hour, three speed modes. Double press for the light. But be aware, this thing will stay in your floor. Let's get to the accessories. So this was the tool that I've used for tightening the screws. And that's the manual right here. Let's check it out. First two pages, second two pages, third two pages. It will even give you learning advice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. So this is a very nice and comprehensive manual. A really well-made manual, I have to say that. And lastly, the charging brick. So. 
on one side you will have this on the other side i have the u plug and this is what the charging brick looks like you have an indication led right here it will light up red when it's charging and green when it's full and these are all the specs right here so as you saw the setup was really simple just pull it out unfold it and you're done what i don't like a lot is the kickstand, it's really sharp and unrefined. You may you'd have to wrap around something if you don't want to scratch up the floor. So keep that in mind. But other than that, it's an amazing device. And I will talk more about that soon. In my next vlog, check it out right here. I'll get to a real world ride test. As always with my girlfriend. It's gonna be fun. So if you want to know more about this device, check it out. Yes, I will see you there because that's it for this one. Smash the like button the way. The little kickstand will smash your floor. Bang the bell like pop to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on careersurvival.com and that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow.